Greetings, Master Mela. Hello, Sister Zandina. You're looking like a real artist now. I'm impressed. You must be living like a lord. you please as bitter as ever I see hardly you just have no tact I'm not like you Andreas I never chose this life. My family couldn't marry me off to anyone of higher rank, so they donated me to the Abbey. The amount was substantial enough for the Abbey to take me in as a nun. I was forced to take the habit. I loved my life before the Abbey. At least you chose your vocation. I was shoved into mine and forgotten. You aren't the most successful person in Tassing right now. I had no idea. I'm sorry. You're lucky to have the life you do, Andreas Mailer. You men can become whatever you like. While I, a woman of noble birth, am forever stuck sitting with groans and old men. I've accepted a lot these past years, but I can't ever be as perfect as Illuminata. Still, it's better than it was. I should return to my duty. Thank you for speaking with me, Andreas Mailer. Until later, Sister Zendaya. Bless you. 
nice you undress. It has been too long. No doubt your work has carried you far from Nuremberg, but we had hoped to hear from you from time to time. Yes, my apologies. You're right, of course. It's good to see you again, Mother Illuminata. This is my apprentice, Caspar Ziegler from Salzburg. God bless you, Mother Superior. God bless you, young Caspar. Master Mayor. It's good to see you, sister. You as well. I'm sorry you have to see it in such a state. It sees very little use these days. What happened? After Baron Rothrogel's murder, we had fewer and fewer wealthy patrons. The small number that held out lost interest. It's easier to commission new work from the Guild of St. Luke or individual masters in big cities like Nuremberg. Father Gernot saw no reason to keep the scriptorium or the library open. Most of the books here have been suffering of neglect. After Mother Cecilia's death, neither I nor sisters and Dana had the time to maintain our inventory. I would have guessed it was unprofitable years ago. You're not wrong. Without patrons like Baron Rothvogel, even Father Matthias would have been forced to close the scriptorium. As Brother Piero was fond of saying, all things change in time. Now all that remains are the books for sale to interested parties, a task that Father Gernot has entrusted to me. And Sister Zendaya, of course. Well, I'm eager to look I'm eager to look through your inventory. Master Andreas, maybe you could find a book for little Magdal Magdalene. Something that's not in print yet. X 
excellent idea, Casper. So we are finding a book that might suit Magdalena. emphasis on Christian virtues. The German is a little dated, but I'm sure she'll figure it out with class's help. Who knows? It may maybe it will inspire her imagination. translations of some of Origen's homilies. Also, it looks like it's partially burnt. Probably not a great gift for a young is responsible for writing the notes. I need to ask Sister Illuminata about this. Good Christians should know the legend legend of the saints. And the Latin is simple enough that she should be able to read it before long. I butchered that name badly. I've just never seen that word before. It's a text on the collection and preservation of books. Nice. Maybe this is where Illuminata and Cecilia learnt all their tricks. Certainly a good book for a printer's daughter. Ha! 
Okay, let's let's try this. Let's try to pronounce this in the least herbal way that's possible. Okay. Albertus Magnus the an herbalist? Okay, it's probably better just read on screen. Because trying to pronounce that is like I butchered that so badly. It's ostensibly Okay, I'm sorry that word I booked that badly. A beast of Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna read I'm not gonna read the first four words. I cannot pronounce them very well, so it's fine, okay. But it contains so much more knowledge on a variety of topics. So just read the first four words and you'll to yourself and then it'll make sense. This could inspire an interest in animals and the natural world. Beautiful, beautiful illustrations as well. So these are all the books we have to choose from to give to my designer. Have you decided on any books to purchase? Yes, just one. It's for Klaus Dricker's daughter, Magdalene. That's even less appropriate. But, not my concern. I hope she enjoys it. Is there anything else you need? Yes, Mother Illuminata. What do you know about this book? I don't know anything. This is the first time I've seen it. Where did you find it? I've seen it on one of the lower shelves. I don't think it's in our catalogue. It's burned around the edges. Can I find out where it came from? Who wrote it? If it's not in our catalogue, I'm afraid. I don't know whom you could ask. If it was a recent edition, the only people who would know 
and Mother Cecilia and Father Matthias. Right. And I didn't bring any books for summoning. A jerk, Master Mayor? Hee <laughs> hee. Anyway, it's a shame we can't figure out who penned this book. The author is the author is the same person who wrote the letters I found while investigating the Baron's murder. The ones in the fine book hand? Brother Adolf told him talk to me about them. Perhaps he perhaps he knows something about this book. He's been here longer than any of us. Why would why would the person who wrote the letters have scribed a book in our library? Well, that's the question. Whoever did it is the thread puller. Huh? Someone who is manipulating people at the Abbey and Tassing. Pulling at the threads to provoke someone into killing the Baron. I thought one of the sisters killed the Baron. Be careful what you say, Casper, especially in the presence of two of them. She did, but the Baron was lured to the chapter house by someone who knew the Abbey's and Tassin's secrets. Well, I'm afraid we can't be of any more help to you in determining the book's provenance. However, as it's not in our catalogue and it's already damaged, I doubt Father Abbott would mind if you kept it. Thank you. I'm glad someone bothered to save it from the flames. Ah, time we went in to go have dinner and supper with the drinkers.
ready to sit down to eat. Would you and Casper care to join us? Of course. Thank you, Klaus. Welcome back, Ka Andreas Casper. These are my friends, Benjamin and Rachel Summerfield. They're on their way back to Prague. Prague, an imperial city of the Holy Roman Empire. The city's mint made it a hub for German and Italian bankers and merchants, and its university became a gathering place for many Reformation thinkers. Good day. Hello. Excuse me for not getting up, it's a bit difficult. Of course, I understand. It's nice to meet you both. Hello? Hello? That sounded like a real work. That sounded like a real word. Class. She's learning more. She's learning more of them every day. She'll be reading book before long. That's a wonderful segue to the gift I've brought her. Oh. Consider it a small apology. she can read it on her own. Thanks for this. It's a nice thought. We should probably pray before we eat. Assuming the Summerfields don't mind. Not at all. We're accustomed to being guests in Christian homes. Thank you for asking, Klaus. All right, I'll lead the prayer then. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Part sixteen. Oh my. Intimate places. And later.